The way to get rid of tension is to do just the opposite of all the things that cause it. Hello everyone, this is Hugo from Ichiban Painting and today I'll show you how to whip out a really simple uh, display base for your vehicles or you could put the uh, units on there. So the first thing I did here is uh, I actually used some uh, foam, uh, you know, like styrofoam that I had loose, uh, I had a nice tile of styrofoam, uh, cut it out to a you know, good size and, and after that what I did is all around it I did a molding of uh, plastic art, that's what you see with the elastic. So now basically I put my uh, marker, I mark down where my tank is going to be and then what I want to do is I want to you know, figure out where my rocks are going to be and everything and then we're moving on to uh, this part here where I'm actually going to make uh, some texture with the foam. So I'm uh, eating it up with a lighter and burning some areas just to make the foam a little bit you know, uneven and you know, ready for the, the basing material. So here I'm applying the basing material which is like a um, uh, Tamiya di uh, diorama effect. So here it's all applied everywhere on the model and basically what I'll do is I'll take a, a, a <coughs> scut, uh, scut towel and then I'll just tap it on, onto the model and just make sure that everything is smoothed out everywhere. Now it's onto the placements of the, the rocks, so I'm just placing the rocks, making sure everything is alright, and then I'm just going to glue it in. Uh, now I use uh, PVA glue. Uh, it works great, no problem with that, but I would suggest, because I didn't have any more uh, tubes of glue, but I, I would suggest a hot glue gun for that, it's better, sticks better and takes less time. But uh, in this situation, my hot glue gun I didn't have glue anymore, so uh, I had to work with the PVA glue. But there's no problem with that, anything that's going to still stick there. So the, uh, the Tamiya Diorama effect is really nice, but if you wanted to go and achieve an even nicer look, I, I used a mix of uh, sand and, and rocks in some area. So now I'm preparing, as you can see, I put the PVA glue in the areas where I want those little rocks uh, and sand to be and then I'm just gonna sp sprinkle it on and um, that's pretty much gonna be it so a mix of, uh, of terrain so it's gonna look a little bit better now time to move on onto the paint so I started I did a primer gray primer on it then I'll paint everything with uh, burnt umber um, do a really uh, really even coat everywhere just so it's really dark and then after that what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be randomly spraying some uh, US, uh, US sand, I think, uh, from Vallejo Air, and then uh, some black also with some areas on the ground just to make it, you know, not one shade of brown, like earth would be uh, lighter and darker in some areas. So I really want to recreate that with uh, the airbrushing of, of it. So now I'm painting the rocks, so I paint the rocks with the airbrush, so, um, black, really cool, uh, really nice to paint it with the airbrush because uh, if, you, if you go a little bit over and you go on the earth, the earth near to the, the rocks are going to actually be a little bit darker, so it's nice. And then since I didn't do the dry brush yet, then you know once you're going to be doing the dry brush, it's still going to make uh, you know the the edge of the rocks, but the the sand or the earth near the rocks still going to get some brown on it, but it's just going to be a darker background on it, so it's going to be really nice and uh, it gives a good effect. Now on to the dry brush, so basically uh, I uh, dry brush with three uh, different browns, I use Beastie Brown, uh, <coughs> heavy dry brush of Beastie Brown, then after that a uh, lighter dry brush of, uh, of um, snake bite leather and then after that I finished it off with uh, some uh, bleach bone in some areas just to make all the, t you know, the terrain not, une not even into the texture it has and make everything and all the detail pops pop a little bit more.
So now dry brushing the rock. Rock is really easy. I started out with a stone gray uh, dry brush, then I moved on to a stone wall dry brush, and I finished up with a couple of areas with white, and does a pretty cool job. And you have to remember this is just a standard, you know, display base. It's not for for Golden Demon or anything. It's just something I did really quickly, and I wanted to show you how you can do it pretty quickly to put your tank on it on display in your house or put your. Uh, your units on it so you can do that in, in pretty much you know like four hours uh, not thinking about drying time so here basically is the the tank that I, I did for, uh, that's gonna be actually on this base uh, has some wet mud on it so I I had to recreate wet mud dish look on the base also to match it so basically what I'm applying now is some gloss varnish in some area just so that the, the the mud and the hurt looks a little bit muddish and, and fresh and wet so applying some uh, some gloss varnish to push it a little bit more I use some uh, contact glue to do some uh, little spots of uh, or little puddles of water uh, here and there I didn't have uh, Vallejo water effects anymore, I need to order some, so PVA glue would work or super glue would work. But you need to be careful if you use super glue because some super glue doesn't dry all clear, it, it, some, some of them dries a little bit frosty, so you need to make sure you know that the one you're using is not going to mess up all your, uh, your hard work. And here we have the last part, which is putting the little bit of grass to, you know, give it a more nicer look. So basically, that's it. That's this is how you can whip out, uh, you know, really cheap and really fast custom base. Nothing too fancy here. Nothing going crazy out of the ordinary. Just you know, some earth, nice display place, and some rocks. Because you know, the main focus is going to be the vehicle you're going to put on it anyway. So you don't want to go too crazy on that and it's just nice. So this was Hugo from Ichiban Painting. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers for watching guys.